Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at uh, this 4-axis job that I've kind of mocked up here and using the multi-axis version of Bobcat to program this. So, brought in this SolidWorks part. The first thing I want to do is kind of uh, rotate it and align it to the right uh, orientation. I want it running down the x-axis here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And, um, you know, from here, uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to run the stock wizard. So I'll run a cylindrical stock along the x-axis. And I'm just going to set my zero on center. And we'll choose OK. All right, so we got our parts set up now. You know, at first I was going to show how to do this with... Uh, uh, an unwrapping and four axis wrapping routine, but I kind of found that the multi axis strategy uh, morph between two curves is a little bit easier to program this. So, you know, what I'm going to do is uh, load in the multi axis uh, option. I'm going to choose a surface based strategy and I'm going to choose morph between two curves. Uh, I'm just going to use a half inch ball end mill and go ahead and get into the dialog. So from here, edit first curve, I'm just gonna click on this edge and this edge and then spacebar. Edit second curve, I'm gonna click on this edge and this edge and then spacebar. Drive surfaces, I'm gonna click on this surface, this surface, and that surface. If I hit S on my keyboard, you can see it's selecting all the way through. All right, spacebar, um, you know, a couple of other things. Let's say uh, one-way cutting. Let's go outside to center. Um, tool axis control will do four axis. Rotary axis is the X. Okay. Gouge check is fine. Linking, I'm going to come in and adjust my clearance and make this uh, four. Uh, and let's just compute. All right, so this is going to generate uh, the routine to come in here and to uh, clear out this material. Now, the one thing we're going to notice is it's starting right on the edge of the part here. If we wanted it to extend out, we should be able to extend trim, um, let's say 100% of the tool diameter on both. Let's see what this does. And, okay, so that extends the tool out past the, the start of it to kind of come in here and cut that. Um, you know, let's go ahead and load this up into simulation. So let me verify what machine I'm running. I want to choose a four axis mill. All right. Now, entity summary, 16.9. All right, edit, work offset, X, say 17. Okay, modules, mill simulation. Let's see what we got here. All right, I went the wrong way. Um, what I'm doing is just adjusting where the part is on the table. So this should be minus 17. Okay. And see what we got here. Now I don't have, you know, tail stock or anything else drawn in, but, you know, and obviously the cutter is going to run right into the, uh, the face here of my indexer, but kind of get the idea. Let's turn some of this off and run through and see what we have. So you can see it's working from the outside in. It's cutting back and forth. put this channel 
uh, in the part. So that really wasn't all too complicated to really set that up. Um, and probably want to make some adjustments to it here, but you get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so real quick, you know, that's an example of more between two curves. Now if we wanted to pattern this for the other side, we should be able to go into our parameters here. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I need to set that up. Let's try a rotate along x-axis rotation angle 180. Uh, okay, compute. This should be able to give us one on the top and the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Without having to recompute the toolpath. So it's kind of neat to be able to program both of them. You know, there's some other options in here to get it roughed out and everything else. But again, just a quick example of using morph between two curves to cut this channel out. This is a multi-axis version. This is, uh, you could either get uh, four axis pro or five axis pro in order to utilize these strategies here. Thank you so much for your time, guys.